Hey folks, today I'm gonna teach you how to create a shared album using iCloud. I happen to think this is a great solution for so many different types of scenarios. Just to name a few, I think this is perfect anytime you have a group of people that are all going on a trip and you wanna have a way to combine the photos and video clips that each person took on their phones and to be able to do it in a way where you get to select what content gets shared. That way it's not all of the photos you took, just the best ones. I also think this can act as an amazing tool for small nonprofits that are holding events and want to be able to capture the event from multiple perspectives. How to create a shared photo album, coming up next on Tech Talk America. Hey folks, before we begin, a very quick programming note. For the last several years, I have always released new videos on Tuesdays, and long story short, there's been some stress in my life, and I need to be able to take a few days off now and then. So for the next couple of weeks, I'm just gonna release videos when they're done, and not necessarily every week. So if you have not yet already subscribed to my YouTube channel, it's a great way to find out whenever I come out with new content. Today, I'm gonna introduce you to the magic of shared photo albums. In order to use this feature, you are gonna need to basically have one person act as an administrator who will then be able to invite up to 100 other people to view and or contribute their own photos. Now, a shared photo album can hold up to 5,000 photos and videos, and believe it or not, that data does not count against your personal iCloud storage. How is that possible? Before you start using this new feature, you will need to make sure that iCloud is turned on and that the shared albums feature is enabled. If you're doing this from your iPhone or iPad, you'll just need to go into settings, then tap on where it has your name at the top. Now let's tap on iCloud and then tap on photos. And if you scroll to the bottom, make sure that this last item here is turned on. If you're doing this from a Mac, just open up the Photos application, go into Preferences, click on the iCloud tab, and turn on Shared Albums. At this point, let's select the first batch of photos which will be included in the Shared Album, and then let's click on the Share button here at the top right. And now, let's select Shared Albums. Now, we can click on this plus icon to create a new Shared Album, and now I can give it a name. So for now, let's just call it Best Drone Photos from 2019 to 2020. And now we can start to add the contact info for everyone who's gonna be invited to access this album. Keep in mind, you can invite up to 100 people and none of the content that is shared in this album counts against your own personal iCloud storage. Then we can type in some sort of a brief description and then click Create. You'll now see that album appear here on the left-hand side of my screen under Shared Albums. When we click inside the Shared Album, you can then click on this little person icon here at the top right to see a few other preferences. If you don't want others to be able to upload their own photos and videos, you can simply uncheck this option right here. By checking this option, we can create a public website where anyone, including Android or Windows PC users, will also be able to view everything inside the Shared Album. So for those of you who are still watching this video, uh, so right now we are five weeks into the quarantine. It's been six weeks since I got a haircut. So I've been kind of battling this decision, uh, which, which really shouldn't be that hard of a decision, yet it is. Do I let it grow, shave it off, or become a hat person? I'm not saying I'm gonna go with which one you guys vote for, but if you'd like to respond to the poll, if you're watching me on YouTube, a little poll thing just popped up somewhere, somewhere here above my head. If you're watching me on Facebook, they don't allow that. So, you know, just go watch me on YouTube. Thank you for watching, everyone. This is David A. Cox with Tech Talk America. Class dismissed.